joining us, our chief meteorologist, and tomorrow is uh, light the flame. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's right. And if you take your shoe off while you're playing soccer and you have a sock on and you kick it, soccer ball. That's my thought process. He said you kick it with your foot, football. Anyway, all right, let's move right on. And yeah, we are going to be fanning the flames tomorrow. I know one of you out there got it. At least my dad probably did. So that's all that matters. All right, as you can see, a mix of sun and clouds happened late in the day for us as what was Tropical Storm City, downgrading to Tropical Depression, worked its way to the northeast. Right now, our temperatures are sitting at 83 DFW to 86 in Dallas, but still feeling like the low 90s. That's a sign of the moisture in place. So right now, we're sitting in the low 80s pretty much all across the metroplex. Overnight tonight, our temperatures will cool their way down into the mid 70s to the upper 70s, and that's it. So, the satellite and radar combined shows that what was left of Sydney is continuing to pull its way to the northeast, but still had some impressive video here out of Pensacola as it was working its way on shore. Some of those feeder bands. Take a look at this from Clint Whitley. Uh, this was from about 16 stories up of this water spout out over the open water there as Cindy was continuing to work its way on shore. It is continuing to pull its way off towards the north and east. Some storms continuing near Little Rock as this area of low pressure now is working its way northeast. So really not seeing a tropical depression anymore. That tropical low kind of holding on is going to dissipate. And as we go through the next few days, then the remnants work their way all the way into the mid-Atlantic by the time we go into Saturday morning. Closer towards home, we have sunshine on the way tomorrow and we heat up. I'm forecasting about 98 degrees in the afternoon hours with a lot of sunshine when you factor in the humidity that feels like temperature possibly up near 105 to 106. This forecast model a bit aggressive, trying to say near 109. Don't think we'll get that warm, but it's definitely going to feel very hot tomorrow. That's why there is a heat advisory in effect that does include most of North Texas and the Metroplex, all the counties indicated in orange. So definitely keep that in mind as you're headed out. However, I'm also tracking a cold front on the way tomorrow into tomorrow night. It approaches and then overnight Friday into Saturday, our rain chances go up to about maybe 50 to 60 percent. We'll see this cold front stall out as a stationary front, and then we still have some more rain around going into Saturday afternoon in our south counties, and then again on Sunday. So the breakdown for Friday night shows rain chances at 60 percent, including the Metroplex, down to 50 percent in our south counties, and then going into Saturday morning, still about a 50 to 60 percent rain chance on the way. But our temperatures are going to be cooler in the mid 80s Saturday and Sunday. Leftover rain holding on towards Tuesday, then we dry out towards midweek of next week. You're watching CBS 11, the ones for Texas weather. We'll be right back.